My name is Dylan Taylor and me and my wife, we co-manage Tiger Safaris. It's, it's like a fishing camp, but a little bit more than just a fishing camp. Uh, we're just building a, a pub and restaurant now, which hopefully will be up and going before the end of the year. So I like to put a, like a sort of a modern twist on like old sort of recipes and to, to combine things that you wouldn't necessarily think go together. Eating can be just a, just a necessity fuel in the body or it can be, we spend so much time doing it, we might as well make it a, an event in our, in our day. I, I do get quite competitive. I do get quite, obviously no one likes to lose, but I think I can, I can lose all right. I don't lose my temper much. Battle of the Chefs can, has offered me an opportunity for, for a bit of a bit of growth so I can learn off the other contestants which I'm which I'm definitely gonna do. If I don't win I don't win. It's not a, it's not a snag, just I think the the real goal is to learn from the other guys, from the other contestants, the judges, the all that. I think that's more what I want to take out of the competition. I always enjoyed cooking, but never really never really stood out as something I could do professionally or, or a career choice. Um, until I went to England. To get extra money, I, I was washing pots in an Italian restaurant in the evenings. And then, lucky for me, the, the sous chef that was there, he got ill. On a spot, they couldn't find anyone to, to jump in there, so I volunteered. Started there, really loved the rush of the kitchen more than the actual preparation of work, because that, that you got to get a move on, that really excited me. From then on, I, that's when I decided that yeah, food was the way to go. Uh, born in Matari the same hospital as my mom, so I haven't traveled much. I uh, grew up in Matari my whole life. Well, we had a farm, so I was on the farm for most of my childhood, which was you know, great to grow up and milk the cows and, and that type of stuff, which yeah, I loved. The biggest inspiration, or whatever, whatever we want to call it, was um, my gran used to live with us on the farm, okay? Because she was obviously old and folks would be at work. During the school holidays, she would come and she would do all the lunch for them. And to keep an eye on me, she would make me, you know, clean the bowls, mix the, just do stuff around the kitchen. It's like quite a personal thing you can do to make something for someone and then they eat it, that comes part of them. And if they like it, you know, I get this feeling that I'm making them a little bit better from my food. I it sounds silly, but that's, 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 that's how I, I see it. I haven't had any training or what have you, and some of the other chefs in the Zimmer have. And if I win, it will do so much for my confidence, boost me up. And it will also give me that the drive to pursue this career for the, and make make a real go of it, rather than just just it will take me from a hobby, you know, to 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 a life a life course. So when I win with the prize money, I hope to buy a food truck and then travel the country. Main goal is to do like like a sushi truck, pretty much. Um, I have a bad bad rep with animals. Animals don't like me. So, uh, for example, I lost my finger to a snake. Um, I got attacked by elephants two years ago. And just before I came to town, I got put on and I got left. <laughs> now, greatest achievement is probably that me and my wife are expecting our first child, which is very, very exciting. We're both very, very excited for it. And touch wood, everything will go all right. I hope we get another chef in the family.